So we started out with um, not much of a front wing. We did a bit of a Frankenstein and created a wing. We then, in this episode, applied filler and a single coat of primer. And we've gone the whole way along the car to do both wings and the door. We're going to start at this end and move backwards and we're going to take that paint off and try some filler and see how we get on. So we're going to stop for tonight, come back to this tomorrow. I think it's coming along. Um, I clearly need something else to get into sanding some of these corners because the, um, the dual action is just a bit too big for some areas. And really I should be doing it by hand and a lot of that. So we'll probably be breaking that out at some point tomorrow. But um, it's certainly better than it was and we'll just see if we we've got a few undulations in there and we need to make sure we don't have those as well so um, we'll continue working through it tomorrow My shelving has just fallen off the wall onto the car. Yeah, I'm in here. I'm glad I wasn't under it when it fell. But um, 
I really didn't need more damage to this car. Um, just unbelievable. Oh well. I thought it was up there. I mean, I, I'm just, I just don't know why that's come off. Oh well. I guess we'll clear that up. So it's just pulled itself completely out of the wall, either pulling the plugs with it or not. These down here, it's just clearly pulled the screws out. I mean, these were fixed into wood, which was on the wall, still is. I suppose really I should be pleased that um, I wasn't under it when it came off. But oh well, it's it's um, opened up Alexia's little message to me um, again, which I always like seeing. Uh, and I guess I, in a way I was lucky that the only damage to the car appears to be here. Um, I haven't seen it any, anywhere else where. So it's all landed on there by the look of it. So, um, yeah, so now I just need to find a home for all of this stuff here. And this down here. And all my tools that I've now got just sat on the garage floor. And this is where the, um, it doesn't look like much, but, but um, it is quite a lot when it's on the shelves. So we'll have to find places for all of that as well now. For now the tools are just going under the car. I can't deal with more than that at the moment. We're going to bring this indoors so it doesn't get wet because I'm going to need that shelving but we'll take it apart as shelves and just put up, you know, as a bookcase and we'll just put up shelves by themselves using what's there making sure everything has lots of supports and in the meantime I want to try to finish off that sanding today so I'm going to get back to that for a little bit I've just sprayed this, it's not dry yet. Um, and the purpose of this isn't you know, to get it perfect, it's to see how good it will be. Um, it's only one coat, so not covered completely yet. Um, I'm not too worried about what this bit looks like, it's gonna get covered, so that's fine. The wheel arch was my biggest concern. And I've, we've got a couple of places, I don't know if you can see them, where I haven't quite got it flat but other than that um, I think that's looking okay so I'm quite pleased with that if we go to the back um, again we and remember this wheel arch was a lot worse but here um, I haven't quite got it and also here you can see it but other than that it's not looking too bad well, there's a bit just there as well now I need to do these bits better and work out how to do that and here but that's okay um, what I'm not very happy with at the moment and so I can't decide if I'm gonna have to completely redo it or what but um, or if it's just more filler and um, but there are two bits one is the door you can see even with the amount of filler I've put in there I haven't got it flat yet 
um, and actually it looks a bit wavy and a bit arched in and stuff so I'm not very happy with that and the other bit is you can really see that the sill is now in too far at the front and so I might have to pull that out but I haven't quite decided but my key here was the wheel arches and actually um, I'm quite pleased with those um, I, they still need a bit of work but but um, you know I wanted to make sure that um, I could get something reasonable looking and particularly at the front I'm actually really rather pleased so um, so we're gonna we're gonna stop this here um, and we'll see if um, I end up coming back to doing that door again and that's still again or if I live with it but I, I want to just move on a bit I can come back and redo things but right now I want to move on a bit um, and I feel that looks quite nice.